wish I could build these. I don't even have the right tools for it. Hmm. I guess I could make the tools. What do you think? Okay, there is one and there's the other. Let's have a closer look. The first tool is this. What this does, obviously, is sand large flat surfaces. And, um, you know, being handheld, it's pretty useful. I mean, if you take this belt off, what you can see is uh, the motor here, which drives the whole thing, and this other roller, which if you use this lever, it pushes and pulls, as you can see, and that um, tensions the belt. Well, at the same time, keeping the belt at an angle where it just won't slide off. I'll be building a table for this and mount it in a way where I could sand small pieces. If this thing actually fits. There. The second tool is what's called a jigsaw. Right, so if I remove the cable, what this does is push this blade here uh, up and down being supported uh, you're able to cut through things like um, you know sheets of plywood or MDF and such what I'm gonna do is mount this underneath a table and have some sort of support which holds the end of this blade fortunately we've got a table here that we could use it's my old router table so I've measured the base of this belt sander and after marking uh, where the hole is gonna be I've got myself a force in a bit and uh, drilled a hole in the corner It was pretty rough uh, Where I could put a jigsaw and actually cut the square bit. Oh, yes Well, even after filing it uh, still doesn't fit and so needs a bit of widening Well, if you want to put a plug in it, you better widen that hole once more And now the plug fits and so do the rest of the belt sander. Well, isn't that lovely? So I'm gonna have this main frame here, which will hold the whole thing together. Again, I've marked where it's uh, gonna be, as well as the, well, a cross, let's say, to uh, mark out the center, like so. Or not. Um, okay. I guess I've opted for two instead of one. I think it's probably a good idea. So I've drilled those holes. And it looks like I've um, pushed the mainframe into that hole and drilled two holes from that. Okay. Well, to uh, fit the screws, I've just used the drill again. Please don't step on these. And now it's coming together. Now let's focus on the dust extraction. So uh, I've drilled two holes and turn it into a slot using the jigsaw. And to put a vacuum hose, I've got a block of uh, wood, which I've measured the um, diameter of this vacuum hose, which is 35 mil. And to uh, you know stick it in, I've used what is called cork, or in America, cork. All right, just push that block of wood in. And with some supports, I've nailed onto it, and which the battery died. Excellent. Now the next day, and um, fitted everything back in, just a bit of a recap. I'm going to be putting some arms onto it to actually hold the belt sander in place. But since the mainframe is a bit too narrow, I've drilled and stuck some extra um, like wood in it to make it much wider. And as you can see, the arms are going to hold on like that. And so, to drill the hole where the bolt is going to fit through, there it is. And the arms. Nah, this looks easy. This will be easy. No, oh, wait. Now, a little variation from the plants that I used is a bed, which I'm going to be, you know, placing the pieces on and um, sanding onto. So, after marking even more holes and even more drilling with first bolt problems, the drill died. I used a wide one instead, which is much heftier and louder. Right, so I've drilled the uh, pilot holes onto the table 
Probably should have used glue because it's still wobbly but sturdy enough for this uh, as a first timer. Now I've um, drilled the same onto the bed itself and uh, countersinking will be useful because heck is a bed. You want it to be uh, pretty flush. And that's the thing done. Now let's give it a go. Oh, isn't that satisfying? I'm gonna be using them hashtags. Now I'm gonna be building the jigsaw right alongside the belt sander, which is uh, underneath all this mess. So I've made a slot. Magique which the blade will be uh, poking out through. Let's unscrew the base from the jigsaw and drill four holes on it, starting with a combination center drill, which I borrowed from school and will bring back someday. So I've lined it up against this slot and marking out the four holes, I've drilled a hole into it. Very accurate holes. And after a bit of countersinking, and making a recess, the base now is fitted underneath the table. But for us to fit the jigsaw onto the base, um, we need two more holes and some sanding to uh, so that everything's flush. We can now bolt the jigsaw as a scroll saw. Now don't you just feel safe? Now the blade by itself won't be that very secure and so we need a wooden structure thing or an arm which I've cut using the jigsaw itself. Isn't that ironic? And after some more frantic drilling uh, we get into something like this which will be bolted onto the uh, back of the table like so. And now the thing works. Just about. I mean it's incredibly sketchy as you could tell from the video and um, by the fact that the whole table isn't bolted down uh, it doesn't really help either but nevertheless it does cut very very smooth oh, that was so intense um, anyways thanks for watching this is the budding engineer and we'll see you soon Thank mm -hmm. you.